I'm Erin Jean McDowell, and I'm going to show you three easy ways to decorate a cake. I'm going to show you how to do a swoopy effect with your frosting on top of a cake and decorate it with some fresh flowers, too. Start with a cake that's basically crumb coated. I like to use a small offset spatula to start applying the swoops, and I like to start on the sides. You also tend to use a little more frosting when you do the swoop method, so I would suggest maybe making a recipe and a half just to make sure you've got enough because the key to good swoops is to use plenty of frosting. And you're just gonna kind of use this kind of motion with your wrist, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. In order to have that swoopy look, there has to be kind of changes in depth. I used to frost cakes this way because I'm not very good at getting super smooth icing. And then before long, everyone was asking me how to do it. So just proof that you don't have to have like the most perfect cake for it to be a really good looking cake. If you don't have an offset spatula, a spoon does a really great job of this as well. When you have a simple cake, or even when you have a really fancy cake and you wanna just dress it up a little more, adding some fresh flowers is a really fun way to kind of bring an extra element to it. I don't worry about having flowers that are edible, but it is important to find flowers that are pesticide free. You wanna make sure you don't do it too far in advance unless the cake is gonna be refrigerated because the flowers will start to wilt. I'm gonna show you some easy ways to decorate a cake with piping tips. I started by giving it kind of a crumb coat and finishing the sides with coconut. I'm using a large star tip here, which is one of my favorite ways to ice any kind of cake because you get a lot of coverage and you can also do different effects with one tip without having to switch the bag. So when you're piping on an effect like this, you actually wanna hold the bag pretty much straight up and down. So I'm just gonna keep piping stars like this all the way across the cake. And people think that piping is really hard, but actually it's a really fast way to get lots of coverage on a cake. And it looks really pretty even if you don't make them totally even because the tip is doing all the work for you of keeping it like a pretty shape. And if you aren't sure that you can make them look even, I always say just forget about making them look even. Do all different sizes. And you just wanna basically apply enough icing that you cover it completely. When you're done, you can see that there's some little holes in between. So if you want, you can actually just go in and pipe another layer on top of some of them and fill some of those holes. So just to add an extra element to this, I'm gonna do a little drizzle of some caramel on top. I've got a little spoon and I'm just gonna and then I'm just gonna finish it with a little bit of coconut. So again, if you add some of these extra elements, you're really not gonna be able to tell if your piping is perfect because you're able to kind of cover up any spots you don't love as much with other delicious ingredients. So I'm gonna show you how to make these delicious gooey drips on a cake. So our cake has been chilling for about 15, 20 minutes. Having the cake really cold is the best way to get it from here to here. You're gonna wanna run your big spatula all the way around the cake, just to make sure that there isn't any frosting holding it down. And you kind of pick it up and you just slide your hand underneath to support it and put it on. And then by leaving this thing in, you can basically still move it. If you feel like it's not quite centered, you still have the ability to move it, and then you just pull that out. So I did warm up our glaze a little bit so it's nice and fluid like this. It should fall off the spoon really easily like that. You just start with a pretty generous spoonful right towards the edge, and then remember that your cake is chilled. It is going to start to set pretty quickly. So you wanna put it towards the edge and then you wanna use the edge of the spoon to sort of nudge that drip over. And in general, the drips look good when there's a nice variety of lengths and sizes of drip. And the warmer the glaze is, the more runny it will be. Wow, it's really beautiful. I cannot wait to eat this cake.